Main man, me, man, here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. What up to the fam? And what up to everybody in Main Man Me Man's boxing form? Salute. Hey, look, man. So the thing is this, fight fans. So it looks as if that we have a update when it comes to the rematch between my main man turns Bud Crawford and Earl Spence Jr. And from what it sounds like, fight fans, we're coming down to an issue where action speaks louder than words. The thing is, fight fans, that we know that earlier this week, Boxing World got shook upside down when friend and business associate of Terrence Crawford, Stevie Soko Nelson, came out with a tweet that turned the boxing world upside down. And in this particular tweet, he told everyone that Terrence Crawford is, inter is wanting to go back down to 147 pounds to possibly defend his undisputed crown. And, of course, they see the Earl Spence Jr. fight as a waste of time. And they're hoping that he don't even take the fight because they want to go and do bigger things. Ain't that right, fight fans? And so this turned the boxing world upside down. And... You know, I'm just going to tell you like this, fight fans. Let's start right here. Let's talk about the things that we know as fact when it comes to this rematch. No opinion, no speculation. The things that we know as fact. First and foremost, we do know that the rematch has to be immediate, meaning that it has to happen next. No tune-ups, no interim fights that can happen uh, for Earl Spence Jr. or Terrence Crawford before this rematch occurs and if that happens fight fans then the rematch clause becomes null and void it can't work that way it has to be immediate another thing that we do know that's also stated in the contract is that the rematch has to happen around de the december time frame so there is a time frame inside of this where it has to happen by and december is the month so those are the things that we do know for certain. And it looks as if that now Terrence Crawford has came out and given us more details about the rematch. And listening to the words of Terrence Crawford, I got to admit, fight fans, all Terrence Crawford is doing is abiding by the words that was negotiated in that contract. This contract took a very good amount of time to negotiate many many months you know what i'm saying i'm sure lawyers and managers and advisors all had a hand in it and so everyone is fully aware of the language inside of this contract and once again while the whole uh what should i say while the spence fans are very upset with bud crawford because of what soko nelson said at the end of the day brand bud crawford is once again marching to the beat of the contract it's on Earl that he negotiated these terms and he negotiated these words and once again should have been fully aware of what he negotiated, fight fans. Now, keep in mind, in my opinion, if Bud Crawford wants to go back to 147 and defend his undisputed crown, he has every right to do so. I believe that Bud Crawford will be in a much better position at the higher weight classes by holding on to those belts because by then he can move up and current and be in position for title shots at higher weight classes. Going up to face Earl Spence Jr. without no belts on the line and maybe possibly running the risk of being stripped, well, that, that spells a harder time for Bud Crawford going forward in the future. And I'm sure that he's thinking about those things. Now, could Bud Crawford maybe be enticed to 154 by giving more money? Perhaps so. That would take a renegotiation, though, fight fans. And that can take many, many more moons, many, many more months. And that can kick this can way down the road. Maybe Bud Crawford don't want to do that. And so instead of kicking the can down the road, he would just rather abide by the terms in the contract and stick to it that way. See, the thing is, Earl Spence Jr., he came out with this 154 position right after the fight. He said it right there in the post-fight interview in the ring, and he said it at the post-fight press conference, fight fans. I mean, he immediately said this. And clearly now, hearing what Bud Crawford just put out here, I believe that Earl Spence Jr. said it so fast and so quick because he realized that the terms of the contract stated that the fight 
hap- had to happen at 147. Now, also a thing that we do know is that Bud Crawford also reserves the right to change his mind. So if he doesn't want to go to 147, Bud Crawford, by him being the winner, can come out and say, hey, I'm willing to go up to 154 and fight him and uh, maybe risk losing my titles. He can do that, fight fans. But that is at the total discretion of Bud Crawford per the contract. And so let's keep pushing now. So what we know now is some new details that came out given by the horse, that horse being Terrence Bud Crawford, not a friend, not an associate, not a fan, not a platform. The actual horse of Bud Crawford said these words, man. And this gives us a lot more clarity. And now I'm sitting back saying to myself, like, yo, Bud Crawford, you're doing absolutely nothing wrong here. As a matter of fact, (laughs) everyone should be happy because they say you're so difficult and this, that, and the third. You're literally marching to the ABCs of the contract. That's it and that's all. Let's go here, fight fans. Well, according to Terrence Bud Crawford in a recent interview that he just recently done, uh, he had uh, had some real, like, I guess, to the point words and clear words of what the contract states. And according to Terrence Crawford, when he was asked about the rematch with Earl Spence Jr. and will it occur at 154 pounds, this is what he had to say. He comes out and he says, and I quote, it's supposed to happen next, so we shall see. You know how negotiations go. We supposed to fight in December, so I am back in training. I like that right there. I am back in training. That's typical Bud Crawford fight fans. Always staying ready so he don't have to get ready. Now, I know that he's on his social media today touting the fact that he's saying that he weighing about 180 pounds. I don't know that to be true because I didn't see a scale. And maybe Bud Crawford is just kind of keeping his name alive within the Charlo and Canelo situation because we know he wants to get that fight. So maybe he's just sending signals to them that, hey, man, if things fall apart here, I'm always ready to go with one of y'all once y'all wrap up y'all whole situation because I'm up here at 180 pounds. Now, we do know that that's not Terrence Crawford's fighting weight, but maybe his more natural or walk around weight. But at the end of the day, he's just signaling to them he's ready to go whenever and weight won't be an obstacle that stops him from wanting to get those fights. But he's saying he's back in training. So just in case this fight happens in December, guess what? He's already ready to go. And clearly by him coming out with the words that we're about to read, he realizes that that there's a high potential that this fight will happen at 147. And so clearly he's preparing to go there if he has to. We are sitting here in September, fight fans, and Terrence Crawford is already stating that he is back in training. I like that. I like that. According to Terrence Bud Crawford, he goes on and says, and I quote fight fans, the contract states that either one or the other got to notify in writing that he can no longer make the weight. And if not, then the fight will be at 147. So clearly what Terrence Crawford is explaining that the contract states that you have to notify in writing, not lip service, not in a post-fight press conference, not in a post-fight interview, fight fans. You have to notify in writing that you can no longer make the weight. And though Earl has came out and told the world, he clearly has put no action behind his words. Now, you're telling me that, like I said, with all of the high paid lawyers and managers and advisors that Earl Spence Jr. has, that this wasn't brought to him, that he couldn't put in a, a, a letter. He couldn't type up a letter and say, hey, I can't make it no more. Let's sit down and talk. And clearly that letter must have never came in because Terrence Crawford is speaking about it like we didn't see anything. So what are you expecting for Terrence Crawford to do? If he didn't receive a letter that, yo, you can't make the weight and per the contract, if it's just all lip service, well, guess what? He's going to continue to honor the contract. This is funny, fight fans. You're telling me this is all coming down to paperwork or action. See, speaking of which, Earl Spence has been missing in action. He hasn't been really seen like that, fight fans. His fans are hoping that he's in the gym working, but the last that we've seen, he was currently, he was just on vacation. We heard Earl, we we didn't see Earl Spence Jr. show up for Frank Martin. When Frank Martin was trying to negotiate with Shakur Stevenson, we seen Earl Spence Jr. nowhere, giving no kind of public cover for his fighter in Frank Martin. Where was Earl? And you see Derrick James out here moving around. You never see him with Earl. You don't see Earl out here 
you know, looking out for his coach when his coach was taking a public beat down from boxing fans. Earl is literally, literally nowhere to be found, fight fans. And he clearly forgot to put the paperwork in because he didn't do it. According to Terrence Crawford, he says, and I quote fight fans, the contract state that he has to go at 147 since neither I or Earl notified each other stating that he nor I can make the weight anymore. End quote. Where is Earl? I see the boxing fans and Earl's fans out here fighting the good fight, calling Terrence Crawford everything but a child of God. He's so wrong. He's so this. But yet your boy Earl is gone mute and hiding somewhere, fight fans, and he forgot to put in a piece of paper. This always goes back to me of what how Terrence Crawford's mandatories used to uh, happen. You know, a lot of fans of certain fighters will come out, oh, he's not fighting my guy, he's not fighting my guy. And we will always ask the question, well, who is putting in the paperwork to become his mandatory when he's clearly looking for a mandatory? And then when you look to see who put paperwork in fight fans, none of them have. None of them. No Virgil Ortiz, no uh, uh, Jerome Boots Ennis. I mean, none of them. They just expect for things that just happen. You know what I mean, fight fans? There's contracts for a reason. So Bud Crawford is letting it be known, like, look, Earl has not done his part. So I guess he must be reading it as if, look, we're going back to 47. And I'm going to tell you, fight fans, at 147, Earl is going to get beat down. Unless Earl is in the gym preparing, hiring different coaches, trying to figure out a way, which I just don't see it, fight fans. I just don't see it. Then Terrence Crawford is prepared to go to 47. It's as simple as that. A lot of people are saying that, yo, man, Earl, he should stick, you know, Terrence should stick to the word, his work. He's sticking to the contract. And he's sticking to what's going to be best for his future, not for Earl's future. And we know that by Terrence Crawford holding on to those belts, fight fans, it makes his political future at higher weight classes much more easier to get those big fights. He's 36 years old. He wants glory filled fights. Fights with Canelo, fights with Charlo, possibly with a Tim Zhu. These are all titles. These are big purses. In Earl's case, the glory is kind of gone. And so what Terrence Crawford wants to remain is a viable player in this boxing game while his name is red hot. And keeping those belts gives him that much of a better chance to be in position when he moves up and to keep his name hot and to get the fights that he want with those belts. So the only thing that I would think that would entice Terrence Crawford from that situation may be more money. Money normally talks, but who knows? Maybe he can get money in other places. Either way it goes, fight fans, Earl Spence Jr. got some homework to do, and he clearly didn't put in his paperwork, and so Terrence Crawford is going to keep on marching to the drum that he's marching to. It's as simple as that. Blame Earl. Earl dropped the ball. You want to fight at 154? Where the fuck is the paperwork? Simple as that, fight fans. At the end of the day, Terrence Crawford, you do what's best for you, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's all he can possibly do. Clearly, he's honoring the contract. If and uh, and I'm, I don't think that PBC nor Showtime desires this, re, this rematch fight, fans. And you know they knew that this was the terms of it. And maybe by these positions being drawn, well, this is may may make this fall apart. I don't know. But if Earl drags himself back down to 147, fight fans, it's not going to be a good thing. And he ain't put no paperwork in. So it is what it is. Thumbs up on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Share, share, share. Rock those bills. Hopefully Earl Spence Jr., man, maybe puts in a piece of paperwork. But I don't know if it's too late at this point. Hard to say, man. Terrence Crawford got his eyes on bigger prizes, man. If they don't come together. If, if, I'm telling you straight like this, man. If, if Earl don't do what he need to do, show up. Come to the public. Put some paperwork in. Let everyone know you're still alive. This is going to be a bad thing for Earl Spence Jr. It's as simple as that, fight fans. I catch up with y'all in the next live stream, man. Y'all be good out there, fam. And until the next video, man, bye, out.